Do you have questions about skincare serums? Well, you know what? I have answers for you. Welcome back to the channel today, guys. If you're new, this is Skincare with Chris Gibson. I'm Chris, of course, and I am your skincare expert here to help you get your best skin ever. And on this channel, we talk about skincare products, skincare routines, skincare problems, we solve those. So if that's your thing, be sure and hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so that you get notified when my new videos are up. So skincare serums, wow, God, I know it can be so overwhelming. I get so many questions about this topic and it makes total sense to me because there are just thousands of different formulations in different brands and different things that serums are supposed to solve for you. So today I wanted to take some time to tell you why skincare serums can really be great for your skin and which ones go with what so you don't waste your money on the wrong ones. Now, if you're currently using a serum, let me know in the comments below what serum you are using and why, because I would love to know how that fits into your skincare routine. Now, the interesting thing is that skincare serums have really come a long way in the last five or so years. Originally, skincare serums are really just essential oils or an extract that you apply to the skin for a specific problem. And having been the ambassador for acne back in the day, willing to do anything to clear up my skin, I was convinced by an herbalist once to apply oregano oil to my breakouts. Now, my skin did look clearer. Unfortunately, I smelled like baked lasagna walking around. So I basically just traded being called pizza face for one reason, for another reason. Fortunately for all of us, skincare serums have really evolved and are now actually a very delightful part of skincare. But you have to know how to apply them and which ones to apply for which reason. Serums are actually able to deliver molecules that are smaller than say in your creams and your moisturizers. This allows those clinically proven ingredients to actually penetrate down into your skin so they have some sort of effectiveness. Now it's important to note here that there is a difference in the types of formulations for serums. Some serums are oil-based and some are water and glycerin based, which is actually what I prefer for my type of skin. If you have oily skin, you definitely wanna choose a water or glycerin based serum so that your skin isn't extra oily and shiny when you're using it. Now, I wanted to make this all really easy and straightforward for you guys today because trying to figure out serums can be really overwhelming. I know even I have to deep dive in on new skincare serum products all the time just to figure out what the hell they're supposed to treat. Some of the formulations target one specific problem and they tend to cost less, while other formulations target several different issues on the skin and can cost a whole heck of a lot more. So basically, serums generally do one or more of these things. They brighten and even out your complexion by speeding up micro exfoliation or they deeply moisturize the skin and help cellular renewal and repair, or they correct something structurally in the skin by changing your pH balance or protecting the skin from things like environment or free radical damage. So that's basically what serums are designed to do. If you're looking to even out your skin tone and texture, for instance, you wanna get rid of dark marks or maybe acne marks, or you have a lot of redness, or just a very uneven complexion, you definitely wanna use a serum that's an AHA glycolic serum of at least 10%, because it needs to be 10% to be effective, and a vitamin C serum. And the vitamin C serum helps brighten an even skin tone by sort of dispersing the melanin evenly in the skin. In other words, dark spots, darker areas are faded out to have a better color ratio with the rest of your skin. Very, very good serum for those problems. Now there are a ton of these serums out there for vitamin C serums and AHA products. I personally use Alpha Skin Care's 14% glycolic serum, and I have several favorite vitamin C serums out there, but I really like Sunday Riley's vitamin C hydrating serum. It's a 15% serum. Now it's pretty expensive, so if it's not in your budget, The Ordinary has a straight out, no frills vitamin C serum that is 23%, and it is only like seven bucks. So you can go the whole range, but those are the two products that I really like the best for vitamin C. Now, if you are a person that has really dry skin or you have sort of combination skin, the thing you're gonna want to address with a serum is pH balance and moisture retention. Big, big important things when you have that type of skin. 
Hyaluronic acid and dimethicone are the two ingredients you wanna look for in your serums and you wanna make sure that any serum you choose is alcohol free because alcohol in a serum is very drying and it kind of defeats the purpose. Hyaluronic acid is going to help the skin retain moisture while the dimethicone protects the outer layer against moisture loss throughout the day. So those are two really great moisturizing products. Now some of the best hydration or moisturizing serums that I have tried have been Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Serum, Drunk Elephant's Hydro B Serum, and then The Ordinary also has a straight out again hyaluronic acid product that is super good for your skin and super cheap. So again, there's a range for your budget, but all three of those are really great choices if dryness is your issue. Then of course there are the repair serums, which are a very important part of a good skincare routine. These are ingredients like niacinamide, your ceramides, peptides, retinol, very, very important. Also BHAs like salicylic acid and citric acid, all of these very, very important roles to play in specific skincare issues that you want to address. Now the serums in this group, of course, are designed to change the skin structurally. Things like niacinamide for fine lines and wrinkles and elasticity, retinols to repair sun damage, niacinamide in your BHAs or beta hydroxy acids for things like acne scarring and acne marks. Now some of the now some of the best of these serums include Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, Paula Choice Resist Serum, and Ole Hendrickson's True Serum. Those are three really, really great products that are designed to go in and structurally change the skin. They're not inexpensive, but they do work. The Ordinary also has every single one of these ingredients as a standalone product, which means it's a lot cheaper. So you can go a la carte and save a lot of money that way. Now I know this is a lot of information, so I did put together a chart for you guys. You can access it over at the Skin So Fabulous Network. I'll put a link below in the video description box for that. And one thing I do wanna say here is that a very important thing to remember when you're using serums is that they work best when they go on damp skin. So you wanna make sure that you're applying your serums three within three minutes of washing your face. Really, if you go five minutes, it's too long and your skin dries out. So try to get that serum applied right before that three minute time mark. Now, I really hope this video helps you decide which skin serum is best for your skin. Please, in the comments below, let me know what skin care serum questions that you have, and I will do my best to answer them. Also, let me know what your top skincare concern is, because if I haven't created a video on it already, I probably will. Thank you guys so much for watching, and your support of the channel is phenomenal. I really do love you guys and thinking about you all the time right now. Please stay well, stay beautiful, and I will see you over on the next video.